If you are having a problem losing weight, this is the video for you. I'm about to show you how I went from this big, fat, bloated, corroded <laughs> to thinner, flat stomach and all of that, losing 20 pounds like that. I'm gonna give you all the steps you need to jumpstart your weight loss in this video. Stay tuned. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to my channel. If you are new, if you are new to my channel, hello, my name is Keisha. Make sure you hit that subscribe button before you leave. If you enjoy content like this and want to see more, want some motivation for weight loss, inspiration for weight loss, want to lose some belly fat, back fat, thigh fat, neck fat, arm fat, whatever fat that you want to lose. Like I said, hit that subscribe button. Tell your friends, your cousins, your grandmother, your grandpa, whoever to subscribe to. Follow me on my socials at Keisha Rose too and hit that thumbs up button down below and also hit that post notification bell so you'll be notified every single time I upload. I'm super excited about today's video. Um, I just want to show you guys what I've been doing this month of January. I told you guys I was hopping into this new year, not playing, going and focus. And I know this new year probably started off rocky for a lot of people. A lot of people got sick, whether that was the flu, COVID, pneumonia, this, that. A lot of people have things going on. And I know with that, a lot of people can put their health last on the totem pole and their weight loss last on the totem pole as well and that's why i'm just coming to you guys showing you guys what i've been doing what have worked for me what has what has helped me drop pounds this month of january have my face slimming out my body slimming out i want to show you guys my physique just what i'm looking like now what i was looking like before just want to give you guys an in-depth look on what i've been doing to help me lose weight it's been effective so those of you who want to lose weight who don't know where to start these steps will help for you a lot of you guys who who've been watching me faithfully already know what I've been doing. Um, but you still might want to pay attention to this video because there's a lot of helpful tips in here for all of you guys who are on a weight loss journey or on a health journey of any kind. Hopefully this video can just like help you to jumpstart your weight loss journey. A lot of people don't realize it's just about putting one foot in front of the other when it comes down to weight loss. Everybody think that it's this big hoop, not everybody, but a lot of people think it's this big hoop that you have to jump through when really ultimately all it takes is for you just to get up and put one foot in front of the other focus on what you need to be doing focus on what you're eating what you're putting into your body and everything but like I said I'll put everything in this video starting right now so this is what I initially looked like big bloated <laughs> now I'm about to show y'all what I look like now in the date okay so today's date is January the 26th let me make sure y'all can see my screen can y'all see it i hope so if not i'm sorry let me turn this light down a little bit okay now y'all can see it today is january the 26th 2022 baby let's show y'all what i'm looking like okay, as you guys can see here this is what i'm looking like now pretty solid like a lot of people like my body and would like my body um, my husband always like you stacked because I'm just like full of breasts and butt and thighs but I do want to continue to lose weight I want a slimmer physique so that's why I keep pushing to lose more weight but my stomach and everything is super flat but I do utilize my gym five days a week I've been consistent with that and ta-da this is my new gym in my new home for you guys who um, haven't seen it yet it's not fully complete but I do eat a lot of fruit I have been eating a lot of juicier fruits because it's full of more fiber water and all of that stuff I have been adding in just a tiny bit of granola with my meals as well and that's vegan whipped cream I don't do that often that was just to look cute for that part of the video um but I have showed you guys this um Timmy detox kit that I have been utilizing starting at the beginning of January is when I started and I think a good detox is really good for the body when you're trying to jump start any type of weight loss of any kind um you guys can get this down below as well in the description box just use quiche 20 and it will get you 20 percent off you guys know I love to bring the money off for you guys because I don't want you paying full price for nothing if I can help it but yeah you guys see here the skinny tea and then you guys see the colon tea I have the colon tea every other night the skinny tea every single day and I just put it in my tumbler here I'm showing you guys the um, colon tea right here and like I said this is from a previous video you guys have seen this 
this before, but um, I put the colon tea in there, the tea bag, squeeze me some lemon in there, hot water is in there as well. And then I let it sit for a good three to five minutes. And then I just go ahead and drink it. Like I said, link down below. I also have been utilizing my cabbage soup cleanse. And I promise you guys, I will do a new recipe adding in the shrimp because I do add my shrimp in at the end. I tried to explain it to you guys, but you guys are like, no, Keisha, we want another recipe. Okay, so this um, um, recipe will be at the end of one well, my original recipe. I'm sorry, my original cabbage soup um, recipe. Why can't I talk? We'll be at the end of this video and then I'll make a new video showing you guys my shrimp as well. Give me a thumbs up for this video, you guys. I want us all to get healthy, lose our weight. Look at me. If you are not inspired, then I don't know what is wrong with you, okay? I want us all to win, all to be healthy, all 2022. Here's my cabbage soup recipe. Tell you guys basically the key basics on how I cut everything up just in case, you know. You guys don't know how to cut different things. You will be surprised, you guys. Some people be like, Keisha, why you didn't show us how you did this? I don't know how to do that. So I'm trying to be quick, but as thorough as possible um, while keeping you guys' attention as well. So with the onion, I just give it a dice. That's all I do. Nothing fancy at all. Just dice, 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 dice. And I'm just going to show you guys slowly how I do this and then I'll speed it up and as I am moving along I will stop to show you guys how I chop everything else up but like I said this is just super simple I just give it a dice and I pretty much do the same thing with everything I just pretty much dice it up so I'll speed this up right now for you guys So this is the most chopping I'm doing to this. And then with my carrots, I literally use about, I said two cups earlier. I would say about one cup. I use a handful basically of the shredded carrots. I'm not really a fan of carrots, but I know they have a lot of health benefits. So, and a lot of people aren't a lot of, aren't fans of a lot of things like leafy greens. A lot of people don't like them, but if you move past the fact that you don't like it and just eat it just because it's like good for you, I'm telling you, your body will thank you for it later. A lot of things aren't that tasty, but if you add a little bit of seasoning to it, and then also you have to let your body adjust to those fresh tastes tasting foods if you are used to eating mcdonald's all the time um whatever all the time you know all of the junk food you are not going to even want to eat this stuff so that's why this this cleanses like this is so good i am sold on this cabbage soup cleanse i'm telling you guys because it reset your taste buds it shrink your stomach before you know it you're not eating nearly as much as you would eat before it's just so many different benefits that come along with this cabbage soup diet and i'm not ever even hungry on it okay the first day I'm not going to lie. I was super hungry, right? I was like, what in the world? I could tell my body was like, okay, what's going on? Day two was the worst. I felt pretty bloated. It really feels good. It resets your body. You just feel awesome. And the way that I cut this, I'm trying to scoot everything over. Slice it down the middle and chop, chop, chop. And I just use two of these celery sticks because... I'm not a fan of celery all that much. I don't know, but it's good for you though. Like I said, a lot of things you might not be a fan of, but it's good for you and you need it in your life, all right? I'm about to put this into a pot and then uh, saute these vegetables. Now, a lot of people I saw used 
um, oil to saute. I say stay away from the oil. You wanna keep this as clean as possible. Use water, I use water to saute my vegetables, these vegetables right here, and it turned out just fine. You do not need, matter of fact, I'm about to show you guys how to saute things with water without oil and then that way you can save yourself some calories too on this because one small amount of oil be like 120 calories that's why i always tell you guys to stay away from sauces and stuff like that my husband is like teasing me through the window outside it's so funny anyway that's why i tell you guys to stay away from those sauces and all of that stuff. okay so this pot is kind of worn because i cook a lot so excuse that but see that small amount of oil that's right there in the i mean small amount of water that's right there in the corner that's all that I use and I put it on the stove on high once it get hot and sizzly I throw my vegetables in there and just saute away now that my pot is nice hot and sizzly I don't know if you guys can see it but it's it's pretty hot I'm throwing in all of these vegetables right here I also got a pot of boiling water on the back of the stove because as I said I'm cooking dinner for my family as well so I just throw all of this in and then I leave it saute it up until it's translucent and then I throw in the other stuff I'll show you guys okay y'all so I decided just to show y'all anyway me cutting up this cabbage just in case some people do not know how to cut up cabbage all right so I cut let me adjust this color real quick on my camera hold on all right now we in the money all right so that's still too bright a little bit all right so i cut it like that because this part of course is like hard down here so some people might feel like oh that's a waste of cabbage cut around but not me oh well whatever all right so cut it like that first of all i took the outer layer of that skin off of the cabbage i do not that's nasty people been touching on that cabbage so if you have cabbage cut take that outer layer part at least three layers of that outer layer part that's gross people probably been digging everywhere on their body, touching on that cabbage. That's nasty. You don't want that in your life. All right, and I cut like that, like that, and then just boom, 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 boom. Simple, it's super simple, nothing extravagant, and I just put it inside. Woo, I'm dropping everything, you guys. Put it inside of my strainer, and then clean it. All of the cabbage, just clean it, little by little spraying it making sure all of that dirt everything is off of it and then it's that simple you guys now that i have everything let me see if i can turn this color up for y'all real quick okay hopefully y'all can see that all right i have everything here on the um stove it's all you guys can kind of see how it looks let me put this water down so y'all can see i got it all browned and just like sauteed up i'm about to throw in my stewed tomatoes and then I'm going to throw in these diced tomatoes I hope this footage is clear because it did not look clear ah, I just got these tomatoes all over me y'all and then um, I'm throwing in some water I would say I fill this water up to about hold on till about right about right there on my pot to make it soupy pour as much water in as you choose to but that's just what I do so let me go get some water to throw in here and also what I do is kind of just put water in these just to get the rest of the sauce out and then um, I go fill it up with some more water just freely you guys know what I'm saying after that I just freely just fill it up with water after this that's that simple so, and then I just add in the cabbage after that. Y'all, this soup is so simple, but it's so good. I, I, I absolutely love cabbage. So for me, this is like a cakewalk. It's crazy. I'm in love with cabbage. I always have been since I was little. And so look, with this um, cabbage, it's big at first. So what I do is the half, one half of the cabbage I um, let it wilt down first. I put the top on it, let it wilt down, and then add the rest in. And that's, that's about a 10 minute process. So as far as the salt, I'm about to show you guys. Remember I said I don't spare when it come down to it. I just kind of freely add it in. Super simple. And with this soup, I eat it all throughout the day. By the end of the day, I have enough left for about, um, I would say about one bowl the next day. 
and I just eat it. I do not feel hungry, starving, or anything like that on this diet. I absolutely love it. With the pepper flakes, you guys, I don't measure nothing. That's how you know you a cook when you don't gotta measure. <laughs> Let me stop, but I'm serious. All right, and then I just do this and then I add in the other part of the cabbage, like I said, and then I let it simmer on about medium. My stove is numbered, it's not medium low high, it's numbered, so I let it simmer on about five for about 45 minutes, 30 to 45 minutes, and it's good to go, baby. And just like that, booze, the cabbage soup is fully done. This stuff smells so good. It is so good, very flavorful. Flavor, season, all of that. Season your food, because without flavor, you are not going to stick to this. Trust and believe. Add in your Himalayan salt, whatever kind of salt you are gonna use. I prefer pink Himalayan. And chow, this is about to get toe up. Like I said, eat it all throughout the day. Breakfast, lunch, dinner, 